Hello everyone, myself Bharadwaz. In this video, I will discuss about astronomical clock. So, open your PLC software and on the left side, under timer category, select this clock. Okay. And give the comment. Astronomical clock. And if you see, there is only one output. So I will connect one output, digital output. And this is my output. Okay. Now I will start the simulation. Go to tools and select simulation. See what this block do is. You can configure your PLC such that it will give you an on command when there is a sunrise. Okay. And when there is a sunset, then the output will be off. Very simple. So, first go to block properties. If you see, in location information, there are some predefined country and city. Okay. You can select your required city. Then the coordinates of the location, the longitude, latitude, and time zone will be updated. If you don't have your country and city here, just go to user defined and enter the details manually your longitude, latitude, time zone, etc. and give your name to this location and save. In this example, I am just using the predefined available cities. So, I am selecting Japan, Tokyo and click OK. Now, open the clock. There is some random time is there right now. Previously, I said some other time, okay, time and date. If you see, there are two parameters updated here. One is TR and TS. Nothing but the first one is sunrise time and the second one is sunset time. If you change the date and time, let's suppose it is in September, I will change to April and observe the values of these sunset and sunrise. I will select April 10, 2025, apply. These are updated, right? I will select some other value. Let's suppose select December and 25, apply. See, the sunset and the sunrise values are updated, okay? So, the system will generate these values. If you want to do some changes to these existing values, just go to the block properties and you can find the sunset and sunrise offset times. Okay. See here, what is the sunrise time? Morning 6.49 a.m. Let's suppose it is 6.39 a.m. I want to correct this value. Then I can enter the positive number or negative number in the offset as per the requirement. In this case, I will enter minus 10 and apply. See, it is updated. Now it is 6.39 a.m. Like that, we can do the offset adjustment. Okay. So, what this block do is, at sunrise, the output will be turned on. And after sunset, the output will be turned off. Now we will simulate the timing and we will verify the block functionality. Open the time and date, click this clock icon. Now, what is the sunrise time? Morning 6.39 a.m., right? So, I will enter morning 06.38 and apply. So, at 6.39 a.m., the output will be on. The output is on at 639. Again, 
the output will be of after sunrise okay remember it is after what is the sunrise time here 16:33 that means 4:33 pm okay it will reset after 4:33 that means at 4:34 it will reset first i will give 16 32 apply the output is still on see timing is running time is running it is now 16:33 still the output is on it has to cross 1 minute then only it will be updated now i will update the value here 16:33 apply see at 16:34 the output will be off Sixteen thirty-four output is off. So by using this block, we can turn on an output or turn off the output based on the sunrise and sunset timings. You can update your details here from the properties. If you see the latitude, longitude. Sunset, sunrise, offset values are updated here. This is the time zone, TZ. You can enter your own details here in the user defined parameter and you can use this function. Share with us how we can use this type of function in our PLC programming or in your industries. What is the real time practical approach or usage for this block with us? through the comments section. Thank you. I will meet you in the next video.